So, do you eat your ice with or without the wrapper? Excuse me, the what? You ate the plastic? From lead paint chips to the DMV, there aren't many inventions that I would consider completely worthless. Usually they'll fulfill some sort of weird niche like ceiling mirrors or black face paint. But there's one invention that I cannot wrap my head around. Reusable ice cubes. An idea created without thought. There's no way this happened on purpose. You took something that was cheap and safe, then wrapped it in a condom and charged people 20 bucks for it. What a fucking deal. From what I can tell, there isn't any information about the inventor of these things. Chances are it was so dumb that they gave the guy a patent out of pity and then promptly left it out of the room. I actually had to look up the patents directly to find anything about the origin of these things. The earliest one I can find was from 2001, and details that they're literally just distilled water in a plastic shell. Maybe not directly harmful to the environment, at least no more than we already do, but still. It just seems really wasteful to me. So they've been around for over 20 years and somehow have never been useful even once. Hell, I saw the little fruit shaped ones when I was really young and thought they were cool for a little bit. I think my opinion changed when I actually got a set and realized how poorly they cooled my drinks. It really was a night and day difference between using them and normal ice. Originally I thought the plastic was a barrier preventing the cold from escaping into my drink. And looking into it now, I was partially correct. The way ice cubes work to cool your drink comes down to two things. Number one is thermal transfer. So basically the cold is sucking energy from the hot and cooling down the liquid. The other effect is from surface area. When that ice melts into your drink, it has significantly more area to cool the liquid. So now that we know all this, it kind of throws all these products into perspective, right? So seriously, what's the point? It seems as though the theory behind these reusable ice cubes is that they're supposed to cool your drink down without watering it down. But seriously, when has that ever been an issue? It seems like a child came up with this idea. I get it, it's really annoying to come back to a forgotten drink and accidentally sip dishwater, but uh, this isn't going to fix a diluted drink. So now it's just swill straight from the glass. If you have drink Alzheimer's like I do, it might be a smart idea to forgo the ice and just keep it in the fridge. You know, drink it straight from the tap. It's only an issue if you're sharing drinks and even then, why are you sharing drinks? Keep your stuff separate. Now, why do reusable ice cubes exist? They seem to fulfill a niche that doesn't exist. What, are you really going to wash your ice cubes? I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen to them. You're going to use them once, you're going to leave them in the sink to get sticky and shitty, you're definitely not using this for water, it would literally defeat the whole purpose of having them. It's meant for flavored drinks. But let's be real, who wants to wash gross ass plastic bags? I don't see anyone reusing Ziploc bags, and I certainly don't see anyone washing these and putting them back in the freezer. If you did that without drying them, they'd form into a reusable ice them only rivaled by the fearsome gummy them. It's a beast that only feels pain, but I digress. These weren't made for anyone besides children. Even the ones marketed as whiskey stones are completely stupid. You take the same idea, but instead of soft plastic hitting your teeth, it's a fucking rock or a block of stainless steel. Sounds like a good way to knock your two front teeth out. It may seem a bit unfair to target the whiskey drinkers out there, but let's be real. They already have enough problems. They don't need any more missing teeth. It might get them mistaken for a Brit, and that would be a fate worse than death. Now this video isn't going to be solely shitting on the mouth breathers who purchase this trash. I can give a little bit of credit. So when are these useful? Now, I could be completely pedantic and say nothing. But I'll give up a little bit of ground by saying these might be good for a lunchbox. Or something you don't want to get wet. Though you'd still have to worry about condensation, so not exactly a perfect solution. But for a drink, it's a complete waste of money and plastic. It's not exactly a must-have product. When you can get the same effects from an ice tray and a Ziploc bag. 
You can get both of those for less than a dollar at the grocery store. Then you don't have to worry about ordering these things from Amazon and always wondering what's actually inside of the reusable ice cubes. It's probably not liquid cyanide, but I wouldn't crack one open and drink whatever's inside. It would probably give me some variation of space aids. Where would these fit into a normal person's life? I sincerely doubt these would work for anyone. Even if you wanted to throw these plastic cubes in a lunch bag, they'd just melt 30 minutes after you got to work. And on top of it, they make packs larger for that exact purpose. These little cubes are just more garbage for your freezer. It's just more food for the landfill. Unbelievably wasteful and ineffective. What a great combo. It goes together like maggot cheese and contact cement. They're difficult to wash, and doubtful you'd be able to throw these in the dishwasher without them melting or flying all over the place. We should all recognize how lazy we are, and that if it requires even one extra step, we're not going to do it. And these add quite a few extra steps to making a drink. Most people can't even remember to refill an ice tray when it's empty. Now you want me to immediately wash them too? That's not going to happen. And to even pretend and gaslight yourself into believing that you'll be different is completely farcical. Reusable ice cubes are a ridiculous concept. They're a complete waste of money in plastic, literally less useful than normal ice. It truly baffles me that better products get discontinued and these continue to live on. I can only hope that people avoid this trash like the plague. I suppose these could genuinely be called macro plastics. I'd be curious to see how many materials were wasted while producing these. But honestly, that's an entire other video for a completely different audience. In conclusion, stop buying this crap and eat a cinder block.